This is how to set the InfraComfort SAS920 hardwired thermostat. Um, this model here is also Wi-Fi ready. Um, instructions for that uh, is in a separate video. Um, but first of all, to check that uh, the settings are correct, uh, the important thing with all the thermostat is to make sure you've got the time of the day set correctly and the day of the week so it knows where it is. So by turning it on, um, with the first button here, uh, we can see that it's showing 15.4 degrees. That's the temperature of the actual room. Um, and it's showing that it's Thursday, which in this case is correct. Um, the next button is the clock button. So we push that, we can check that the time is correct. Um, we push it again, uh, the minutes uh, flash. You can alter the time up or down with the arrows. Push it again, the hours. Same again, up or down, uh, push it again, Thursday, we make that sure that it is the correct day of the week. Um, that's, that's important when you know that you're setting the thermostat so that they won't run on the weekends. Um, and so now it's just time back out and going back to the temperature. To set the program, which is the, is the middle button here, we just push that and we hold it in. until we've got Monday flashing. Now this thermostat you set each day separately and there's six settings per day. So Monday's flashing, six o'clock is the first setting. I'll take that back, holding in that program button. Monday's the first setting, six o'clock in the morning, push it again, six o'clock's now flashing. You can alter that with the up and down arrows. <clears throat> Pushing it again, 21 degrees and you simply just scroll through six settings per day uh, and then change whatever setting you want it to be at. Um, this one's set at it. So at the moment it's 1800 hours, it's 21 degrees. At 2200 hours, it's 16.5 degrees. Then we go on to Tuesday and we scroll through the same for each day. Remembering that whatever's flashing can be altered. So if I just want to skip to a particular day, I can just use the arrow because the week day is flashing and I can just take that to any day of the week uh, that I need to particularly change. So you scroll through, making any changes you want. When it's done, you can just leave it and it will time out itself. And there it is there, it's just timed out. What it's showing on here, that it's in a manual mode at the moment because we have been playing with it. So if I want to put it back into its time clock or schedule, I just push the uh, time button. And there, now it's put a little clock up there showing it's back into its program. This little line here would indicate that the actual heaters are turned on. If I felt that I wanted to manually turn those off because the room's warm enough, I just simply use the down arrows and take it down below the temperature. The little heat sign's gone and the thermostat has now turned the panels off. Again, because I've done that, I'm in manual mode. I can override that by just pushing it back to the uh, set mode or the program mode, which is indicated by the clock. This little arrow again here, this is for the Wi-Fi and that will um, come up in another video.